Hello all my fellow sparklers, I'm doing a fun unboxing today. None of these are new releases, these have been on Diamond Art Club's website for a while. All of them are currently sold out, they are um, on the website but they're not in stock. So they're not discontinued yet, um, but they, at the time of filming this video they are not in stock. Um, they're all rounds, and you can see it says on the side, round, 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 so you know what you're getting into when you uh, pick up the box in case you forgot um, and they're just fun and they're like many of my Diamond Art Club boxings I'm trying to do themes because that kind of makes it more fun and I think you'll pick up the theme of this one pretty quickly so let's get started so this first one has been very popular it's got a lot of beautiful colors and Here we go. Alright, I'll show you this thing in a moment. Um, standard diamond art toolkit. Uh, we get a clear tray, a blue pen, a pencil grip or a pen grip, um, a few baggies, and there's two pieces of heart shaped wax down here. If you the square kits, you, you usually get tweezers. Um, but you don't need them for the rounds. Okay, you see it's pretty big. This one is actually um, 55 centimeters by 76 centimeters. So this is what I call poster size. And just unroll it in here. Oops, upside down. Okay. It's so beautiful. And this is I Miss You by Mandy Manzano. And let me turn it sideways so you can kind of get more of it in the picture. Back out a little bit here. Get the whole picture in pretty much. And it's uh, obviously someone gazing at the moon. Okay, so there's been some debate on is this person wearing clothing or not? Um, a lot of people think she isn't. Um, but someone commented that she is. If you look at the original artwork, um, let me see if it looks like it here. Yeah, if you look at this sticker, so you get these beautiful stickers with it, and this you can put in your book, and then you could put the second one that they've started adding on your kit, um, like the, the box you might kit your drills up into. If you look closely, her arms are a bit more like tan, and the dress is more kind of peachy colored, and maybe that's just me. So I think she's supposed to just kind of have on a light peach colored shift dress and she looks tanner but maybe she's missing someone while she's hanging out at home in the nude uh, that's cool too um either way it's just a really sweet picture i think we all have someone in our lives that we miss and can relate to this and i just love the moon and it has two ab's yeah two ab's um, and just a lot of really nice colors, and um, I just love the style, Manzano style, kind of that stained glass look, and the little extra swirlies added in. I think this is what really sells me, like, it's not um, that complicated, but just these extra swirls, it kind of brings together stained glass and Art Nouveau. If you're familiar with Art Nouveau art, um, it's got a lot of flowing lines and swirls, and so that's what um, I think partly attracts me to this, aside from all the colors in the in the scenes. I mean, she picks beautiful scenes to do as well, so. Uh, here are the drills, all packaged up. You see it says, I miss you. Um, are there three ABs? It says AB3. Am I making that up? I think there's only two. Do, do, do. Okay, I don't know. That's weird. I don't know. I don't think that's in relation to ABs, but maybe I'm wrong. So let me pause it, take this out, and then we'll look at these colors. Okay, so now I have a bit of a glare over here because I've turned on my overhead light so we can see the colors better. And DMC usually packages their colors not in order by DMC number, although the DMC numbers are on here, but by how much there is. So the first one is we have a lot of 310. We have four packs. And of course this is DMC black. Then we have a lot of 720, which is dark orange spice, and 400, which is dark mahogany. So those are the most, and then moving on down, 
two packs of 820, which is very dark royal blue. Two packs of 814, which is dark garnet. One, two. One pack of 890, and this one is called Ultra Dark Pistachio Green. I always think it's funny they called it that. It doesn't look green to me at all. And there's like, I don't think there are any colors named Forest Green in DMC. Um, 939 is very dark navy blue. 797 is royal blue. Let me get closer here. 741, this is the Tangerine family, the 740s. And this one is medium tangerine. 3846 is um, oh, light bright turquoise. And it is indeed, it almost looks like a turquoise stone. 995 is dark electric blue. 321 is red, straight up red. 819 is light baby pink. Got a straggler from next door. Oops, took it the bag. It's stuck to it. 991 is. I lost my place. Dark aqua. Really? Dark aqua. Okay, it looks like a bluish green. So it's really dark aqua. Um, it takes me a minute to say the color names. It's because they're not in order. I had to write them down in order because that's the way I had the list from the, um, the key, but they're not packaged in order, so it takes me a second sometimes. Dark Bright Turquoise for $38.44. $38.45 is Medium Bright Turquoise. $150 is Bright Red. So this actually looks a bit burgundy. It, to me it's almost like a dark raspberry color. Burgundy. $606 is Bright Orange Red. $956 this one is uh, Geranium, which that was a new one. I don't think I've had 956 before. And 9, I'm, I'm sorry, 601 is, oh, Dark Cranberry. I have, I've had the Dark Cranberry before, but it just seemed like a really deep pink to me. I don't associate with cranberries. <laughs> I don't associate that color with it. Uh, I guess if those were some with whipped cream, it would probably look like that. 977 is a light golden brown. And it is golden indeed. It almost looks like the antique golds. Alright, and on to these strips are like really long. 945. This one is medium burnt orange. Really? Hmm. Let me double check that one at the end. 3830 is uh, terracotta. 130. This is the AB. See if you can see that um, iridescent color. Let me turn it over. Maybe get a better look here. You can see some of that rainbow sparkle. That's one of the ABs. 758 is very light terracotta. 957 is pale geranium. 743 is medium yellow. 906 is medium parrot green. 701 is light green. Mm. 3705. This one is. Uh, oh, dark melon. Okay, there we go. Really nice piece there. 166 is lime green. 519 is sky blue. This is beautiful. 5200, I know this one, um, without looking it up, and that is winter, um, sorry, Snow White. This one is in a lot of, uh, diamond things. And here we have our other AB128, it's a really light shell pink with, uh, AB coating. It's beautiful. 3811 is very light turquoise. 898 is very dark coffee brown. You get that a lot in shade. 647 is medium beaver gray. It's got a straggle. 799 is medium delft blue. 844. This one is called ultra dark beaver gray. 
327 is violet. Oops, sorry. There we go. And 550 is very dark violet. I get 550 a lot too, and that's a fun color. So, that's all the colors. I'm going to double check. 945. I'm wondering if I hit the wrong numbers in my Gems Flow app, and that's how I look up these colors. So open up Gems Flow. Doop do do. Open up Gems Flow. And then down here at the bottom, you go to colors. And you can specify round or square. For me, right now, it doesn't really matter because I'm just looking at the number. And the number's the same. Oh, 945 is tawny. I definitely entered that wrong. Okay. So. That is this one. I must have entered the wrong numbers because I put medium burnt orange, so definitely wrong. It's definitely tawny, and tawny always looks like a light peach. So. All right, so that's it for I Miss You and the beautiful AD. It's just a, a fun, beautiful scene, and I don't know where she's living, like um, if she's living with. Um, who is it? Oh, the little prince. That's who I'm thinking of on, on planet B12. Because she sees the moon and the earth. Let me, let me pull you back out so you can see more of the scene. So she's looking out from somewhere in space. Maybe that's why she misses people. <laughs> she's not on earth. But uh, yeah, just a lot of really beautiful colors, fun swirls. I really like this one. Um, and if you haven't experienced Diamond Art Club, um, their canvases are so soft and velvety. Like you want to get one just to try it. Get one of their little trial ones if you just want to feel it. Um, you can get them, they're free and then you pay shipping which is $8.95. Uh, so definitely check this out and keep stocking the site because if a painting is on the site, even if it's sold out, they restock regularly and so um, you have to keep watching because they're popular too so sometimes they restock and they sell very quickly like in a snap so um that's it for i miss you let's move on to the next one okay here's our second diamond painting and this is one that i got um to give to a friend and it is been on the site for a while. I'm not exactly sure when Diamond Art Club released it, but uh, like the other one, it sold out. Um, uh, they may get it back in stock. It's still listed on the site. It's just out of stock at the time of this posting. So, let me get all the fun stickers out. And they have such pretty boxes if you haven't seen them before. They have these holographic snowflakes. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, I hate that they're always boxes, like I don't have a reason to keep them, but the boxes are really pretty. Okay, so same deal, it's wrapped in plastic too. Uh, same kit because it's around, a clear tray, a pen, a grip, some baggies, and two axes. Velvety canvas, so nice. Yep. Okay, let's do it this way. I put it sideways so you can see the thing. I'll pull you up. And if you haven't guessed, the theme is Mad About Mandy. These are all Mandy Manzano paintings. Um, and this one is called All Dogs Really Do Go to Heaven. Let me check. Let me double check. All dogs do go to heaven. So no really, just all dogs do go to heaven. And it's just so cute. And if you've ever had a pet dog or a pet at all uh, that has passed away, uh, it's just really touching. And of course there's this beautiful sweeping angel and I love the swirly clouds. So this is just, um, for me, it's a heartfelt and touching painting with lots of um, calming colors. It's not as colorful as I miss you, but it's pretty calming. And here is the original. And it has 31 colors and one AB. So, um, we're going to take a look here at these, oops, 
at these drills and uh, there's a good bit of 310 with both with Manzano. This is an artist you're gonna get a lot of 310 with but it's not gonna be huge blocks of 310. This does have some blocks, a little bit of color blocking down here and here but all this black is really for all this outlining and the stained glass look. So let me unwrap these and we will get a closer look. Okay, so there is indeed a lot of 310 and 310 is black. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six packs of 310. Uh, then we have 823, which is dark navy. Yeah, 3371, which is black brown. And we have uh, 939, which is very dark navy blue. Two packs of that. We have 3021. I think I've had this color before. This is very dark brown gray. Four, four, and this one is called medium beige gray. So we have two packs of 3865, and 3865 is winter white. Uh, 336, which is just blue. For me, it's a little dark, like this would be a deep blue, but that's what they call it. 312 is very dark baby blue. So this is what I would consider just straight up blue. 3811 is very light turquoise. And oh. 9787. Oh, 3787. Uh -huh. That's just a weird printing. 3787 is dark brown gray. So a lot of brown grays in here, and I think all that's in the clouds. Then we start the next one with our A B, our white A B 141. Uh, the next color is 3760, and this one is medium Wedgwood. So we can get the light a bit better. Okay. 3033 is light, very light mocha. 334, this one is medium baby blue. 640, this one is called very dark beige gray. Doesn't look, it looks kind of khaki. 3782 is light mocha brown. 3756 is baby blue. This is the one I always have an issue with. They call it baby blue, and it's like a really light mint green to me. 993 is very light aqua. Kind of a seafoam green. 519 is sky blue. 3814 is aquamarine. It's really like a, a bluish green. 841 is light beige brown. 820 is very dark royal blue. 780 is ultra very dark topaz. That one always amuses me for some reason. It's kind of funny. 433 is medium brown. 991 is dark aqua. 783 is medium topaz. 782 is dark topaz. 165 is bright green, but it's really almost like a scrambled egg yellow. It's vibrant, but it's not green to me. Um, three. 3777 is very dark terracotta, and 832 is golden olive. So that's all the colors for these. Um, got that beautiful white AB. There's a lot of blues and grays, which doesn't sound like an exciting color palette, but it is a nice um, palette when you get it all together. So again, here's the whole pick. We have to turn that out so it doesn't give a glare. And this is so cute. And this is like the dog everyone starts drawing when they're little, like the basic dog. But I think then it relates to a lot of people. 
So I just really like this one. It was so exciting when it came back in stock and glad I was able to snag one. So um, yeah, this is, I, I really hope my friend enjoys this gift. Um, it's hard to say sometimes with artwork, I mean diamond painting or prints or anything, how much another person might enjoy it. But um, the advice given to me when I was young is if get someone something you would like and um, not to not think of them, but if you like it, there's a good chance they're going to like it. So, um, I definitely like this piece of artwork. So, let's move on to our last one. And last but not least, this one is smaller, but it is quite regal. And this is, um, one actually heard a podcast about, um, the person who's represented in this painting. And I will link it below because it was a very interesting podcast. So let me open it. And this one is also very colorful. And it's beautiful. Uh, sorry, some beautiful vibrant colors going on. I'm just trying to get all these things out of the box. Standard toolkit for Diamond Art Club. It's nicer than what's considered standard standard toolkit. As you can see, this one is smaller. It is 32 by 58, so it's not poster size. It's more manageable, but it's long. So I'm going to roll it the other way because this one's a bit smaller, so it's trying to roll back on me. And here we have Mandy Manzano's representation, representation uh, Queen Nefertiti, and she is a very interesting historical figure, and um, this one is not only colorful, but it comes with uh, three special gems here. So we have 28 colors and three special gems, and I'll show you a close-up of the canvas. For those who haven't seen a Diamond Art Club painting, the symbols are really clear. Um, I mean, I haven't had any problems. I did see someone post recently that they had a misprint. If you have a misprint, contact them because, you know, not everything's going to go perfectly at, all the time. And so, you know, they want to fix it. They want you to have a quality product. But this is just, um, I don't know what I like so much about it. Is it her regal stature? I mean, obviously... <laughs> This is very stylized. No one has a gold face, but it's just so um, kind of sophisticated and beautiful and dynamic at the same time. And I love all the colors, even though I mean, it's got some teals and blues around the edges, um, but the gold and the gym tones really set that off. So let me get into these. And you can get a sneak peek at those special gems there, and we'll look at the colors. Okay, so here is the original artwork. And see, um, oftentimes Diamond Art Club does lighten the background a bit, so if you get a custom through most standard diamond companies, it's going to come out darker than the picture. In order to keep their colors vibrant, um, Diamond Art Club hand um, hand renders these so they don't just throw it into a computer program and whatever the computer program picks as a pixel and spits out they go with they go in see what the computer program has thrown out and uh, you know fix it by hand and say well this sh this should all be you know one shade of yellow and this why did they throw a pink one over here make that all the same so you know that kind of thing it's I'm sure it's more complicated than that but for layman's purposes, we'll go with that. And uh, so this one is just um, really vibrant. We'll do the special drills first. Here we have like a ruby red cabochon. And that one, hmm, Y133, I'm trying to figure this out. Okay, it goes where it says 30. Oh, oh, some of them go down here. Oh, wow, okay. So there's some down here, and that is number 30. 
Oh no, this is 33, but there isn't a 33. So I think that that means 30. That must be a misprint. I really think that means 30. Oh no, there's 33. Okay, number 30. It's symbol 33. This is really confusing. That must be their code for that special drill. And um, then we have two red teardrop cabochons. And those go here where it says 14. So that's what's confusing is that those match up to their symbol. But anyway, I think it was just confused this late at night. So the sum up there, and then we have this really beautiful. Ooh, you have to ask them. Nope. No, that's all you need. Two? Okay, don't lose one. You get two of these and they're beautiful and iridescent. But if you got one that was messed up or dropped one, they have the oops insurance, they would send you more. And that goes here, and it goes here in the center of her um, collar. She has a really ornate kind of collar here. So, yes, after my late night confusion, I figured where everything goes. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. But yeah, that, I haven't had a Diamond Art Club that came with special drills. I think this is the only one outside of, you know, coming with ABs. And this still comes with one AB as well. So, let's look at the drills. Lots of 310 for all those outlines. And 310 again is black. A slightly different packaging for this one, which is interesting. Then we have 780, which is ultra dark topaz. 300. This one is very dark mahogany. Curious. 783 is medium topaz. 939 is very dark navy blue. 336 is blue. 312 is very dark baby blue. And 743 is golden yellow. Oops, I'm sorry, that's wrong one. Medium yellow. Mm, medium yellow. Next up, we have 433, which is medium brown. 823, which is dark navy blue. 3854, which is medium autumn gold. 992 is light aqua. 799 is medium delft blue. 728 is golden yellow. 3853 is dark autumn gold. It's really kind of a peachy color. 993. This one is very light aqua. 3814 is aqua. 598, they're calling light turquoise. 3776 is light mahogany. And here's our AB129, which is not labeled as a color uh, with DMC because anything below 150 on Diamond Art Club pieces is their AB numbers, so um, this one doesn't have a name, but it's obviously a light, soft yellow, kind of a buttery yellow AB. 991 is dark aqua. 3811 is very light turquoise. 402 is very light mahogany. 890 is ultra dark pistachio green. It's a little bit darker in the viewfinder, but not much. 498 is dark red. 699 is green, straight up green. 900 is dark burnt orange. And 3865 is winter white. So that's all the colors for this one, and I'm sorry I didn't show the other paintings, they were so big, um, and I kind of forgot, but let's look at what where this AB is on here. So we have here our symbol, it's symbol number one, and oh, so it's going to be like in the headpiece, 
And this is what I kind of thought it'd be accenting this golden pieces she has on. It's there. I actually have white ABs I may put in for her eyes. Because this is the winter white. Um, so we'll see. See what those are like. And around her eyes are more ABs. More of that 129. Um, do we get some down here? Yeah, so you get some of his highlights down here. In the shoulders. Um, but yeah, a really neat piece. Um, I, if you had like an Egyptian themed room, this would be really cool. But even if you didn't, like, I don't know. I don't know where I would hang this. But one place I've thought of hanging things where maybe it's a piece that I like and my husband does not is in my own part of the closet. Um, so you don't see it all the time. It's not on display all the time. But while you're getting dressed, you can see this uh, strong female figure from the past. And she was really um, quite interesting. And maybe uh, get inspired by that or just... Uh, you know, kind of give give you a boost to start your day, maybe, or just the bright colors make you smile. So um, that's one idea I've had when people are like, my cat is jumping off of here. When people are like, mm, I don't know where I hang all this. I'm like, I'm not sure either. And this is, might not be something, you know, that goes with the rest of my decor. But there are some places where you can hang stuff, and it's not always on display, but you can still see it when you want to. So. That's my idea, but I hope you enjoyed this Mandy Manzano themed unboxing. Um, check out her artwork on Diamond Art Club. There are some of her pieces available right now, um, and they will be having stock rotating in. They're getting more stock in as things get back to normal, um, so just keep checking back. But post any questions you might have below if I've forgotten to mention anything that you want to know about these paintings, or um, if you just want to talk about what you learned about Nefertiti or your pet dog or um, who you miss in your life, that's fine. We're here to listen in the comment section. Love to hear from you and I hope that you join me next time. Keep on sparkling!